have in the game industry, and knows probably better than anyone how it could have been much different. He's been a friend of mine for a long time. You may know him as Love and Mad, or you may not. His name is Scott Jennings. So uh, my talk actually uh, ties into Robin's very well in that I'm basically going to explain to all of you who I assume are already employed how to keep your jobs. Uh, bear in mind uh, that this is usually a skill that a lot of people don't have, including myself. So who I am? I'm just going to do this. <laughs> so who am I? Uh, I'm Scott Jennings. I've been in the game industry for over 10 years now, which frightens me and should frighten you. And I've been keeping a blog for even longer than that. I've kept a blog since before blogs even existed. They were called rant sites back then, which was a much better and more descriptive term. <laughs> uh, if we had slides, I would be able to show you my 10-year-old rant site, but we don't. So just assume it was really ahead of its time. <laughs> this is going to be uh, a uh, talk full of negative feedback, because working at MMOs, I learned that works. Uh, <laughs> so, the first uh, instruction that you should not do, don't burn bridges. This is something I have a really hard time with if you've read my blog. But, <laughs> really, this is a small town in a small industry. You're going to work with everyone. All of you in this room are going to work together at some point. I've worked with a frightening amount of you already. And if you say something that you think is really clever and funny and scores pointing at someone else, you're going to have to explain that later in a job interview. <laughs> and it doesn't matter even if you took it off your website because the internet remembers everything. If you made a particularly cutting blog post and took it back two hours later, it's already been mirrored in five different places. It's on news sites, it's on websites. Google has it in its cache, the Internet Wayback Archive stores it for years and years and years. Everything is stored forever. So, next one. This is the one that when you tell your employer you're keeping a blog, this is what they're most worried about. And it's actually the least likely problem you're likely to have because you get really stupid to fall for. Don't disclose confidential information. That's the nightmare of your supervisor. You're going to get out there and you're going to blow this big project that they've spent millions of dollars on PR to get ready to go. And you're just going to tell your bud on your blog that you get 10 readers. And all of a sudden it has 50,000 readers because you're in the news story for the day. <laughs> Don't blog while working. <laughs> I always break this, and you will always break this, because the fact of life in the game industry is you're at your desk pretty much all day. But seriously, it's a bad idea. Why is it a bad idea? First off, you're being that guy. You know that guy. He's the guy who plays WoW all day while you're working. How many of you have seen this? How many of you are really freaking ticked off about it? I could have said something else right <laughs> Don't be that guy. Even if over and above the don't be that guy factor, your company owns your PC. If they wanted to get froggy about it, they could then say they own your blog because you worked on it at work. You don't want them to do that. Something else. Don't take credit for everything everyone on your team does. <laughs> this is actually something that the gaming media, quote unquote, has a really hard problem with doing. And if I had slides, I'd have a really funny quote. So instead, I'm going to read it to you. This is an actual quote from a news story. There is a tendency among the press to attribute the creation of a game to a single person. It says Warren yeah. Spector, creator of Thief. Yeah. <laughs> IGN.com. Really? It really happened, yes. Uh, the news media is already wanting to make you take credit for everything. Don't do it. Every time you talk about what your team does, say we, not I, we. Every game that's made, even a little iPhone game, is done by a team. You are a member of that team. If you take credit for it, you're taking a dump on everyone else in your team, and they will remember it and hate you. Don't flame. How many of you here know who Derek Smart is? <laughs> okay, I can keep it short. Don't be Derek Smart. <laughs> Next step. Don't be a marketing tool. Okay? Your marketing team is going to love you having a blog because you just became a publicity vector that they can dump all their new press releases on. Don't do it. 
Marketing may love you. They're not going to respect you in the morning. Neither are your readers. And once you do that again, your blog becomes an adjunct of your job. Your job then owns your blog. You are not your job. Your blog is a part of you, not your job, not your career. It is an extension of you. And when you turn it over to marketing for your new project that you're excited about, and you should be excited about it because it's pretty much your entire life for three, four, how long was Teddy Ross in the <laughs> It's something you should be excited about. <laughs> so those are all the negatives. Positives, uh, do share knowledge, do share experience, do share opinions, do write well, do be funny. Being funny forgets a lot of things, I know personally. Be timely, be social, advertise on Twitter, advertise on Facebook, advertise everywhere. And if you have any questions, too bad. This is too, this is too long already. <laughs> no. Oh, I still got four minutes. <laughs> uh, really, I mean, and now I'm really going to wait because I'm past my presentation. Uh, your blog is really an expression of where you want to go with your career, with your life, with yourself. It is a part of you. It is not a part of your job. It is not a part of your project. Your manager cannot dictate what goes on your blog. Your job cannot dictate what goes on your blog. Your manager and your job can dictate that you do not have a blog. And you may have to say, okay, you're right. As long as I'm working here, I can't do this. That's the choice you have to make. But if you do keep one, it's yours. And that's the only way that you'll be able to keep up with it for years and years is because it's part of you and it's not just a web project for your company to do on the side. And with that, I'll close.